Hey double majors, welcome back to my channel. Um honestly, I I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, I don't know how to act. Um I'm making this video basically just to keep you guys updated on everything that's going on over here. I've been telling you guys this for a while, but there is a lot of things going on over here and I pride myself in being transparent, so I just want to be transparent in this moment when talking to you guys. Um, because I know that a lot of you all are just as involved, not like, I mean, not obviously as involved, you're not taking my exams and stuff for me, but a lot of you all are very involved in my road to medical school and specifically right now, like my journey and my involvement in graduate school. So, um, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm having major difficulties figuring out how in the world I'm going to pay for my last semester in grad school and it has just been stressing me out and weighing on me like a big dark cloud for um, like the past month or so. Um, I'm literally just gonna like talk while the camera is going and I'll just cut it out <laughs> later if I don't make any sense because um, so long story short I'm a grown woman. I'm responsible for paying my own way through graduate school. There was a situation that I won't go into too much detail about that basically prevented me from receiving financial aid at the beginning of the school year. And so I paid out of pocket for my first semester of this year. The last two semesters I did do financial aid. You guys know I went to Spelman. I received some scholarships, but for the most part, it was financial aid. Like I am in a buttload of debt just because I've been taking out loans just to accomplish my dreams and it's a lot and it's scary but it's one of those things where it's just like this is supposed to happen like I'll worry about it when I get there uh, this is not like my first financial scare but this one this one is different because it's really just like right when I'm at the finish line it feels like everything is being taken away from me last semester with the help of my mom I was on a payment plan like I said this is new to me because I usually pay through loans so I've never had the whole like monthly payment plan thing I've never had to do that before so the payment plan was set up to the amount that we could afford each month on top of other stupid expenses because we had it set to the lowest amount that we could literally afford per month at the end of the semester we were left with a five thousand dollar balance at the end of the semester at this point in order for me to register for my next semester classes we had to pay off that bill and we also had to put down some money for the next semester's payment plan so now we're talking like seven eight thousand dollars that I had to have in order for me to pay for my fall semester as well as secure my spot in my spring semester which is supposed to be my last semester here in grad school this became a huge problem and <laughs> obviously it has the potential to set me back in so many different ways possibly to where I may not even be able to return this semester mainly because I've been denied a seat in my classes that I've already registered for so you guys know when it's about the end of the semester you register for your other classes when you're only in a program for two years and there's fall and spring classes when and where you take your classes are very important and so I have two major classes that I need to take this semester in order to graduate they are both very rigorous classes so not only do I need to get into those classes and take them and do well in order for me to graduate but I also need other classes that I can balance out with those two heavy ones and I created like the perfect schedule I was really excited for it I had the perfect schedule in mind but I had this huge roadblock in the way because one of the major classes that I had to take and pass in order to graduate was biochemistry and I was on the waiting list for the class I'm like hello like you can't put me on the waiting list I need this class to graduate like you literally have to let me in and uh, I was just going back and forth with them I literally like on a Wednesday I finally got in off the waiting list for that class and on Friday all of my classes got dropped if you guys are not like familiar with that lucky you you've never had to deal with this before but if you do not pay your money for the previous semester on time they will take all of your classes off like you are no longer a registered student like they won't allow you to register for the next semester classes until you've paid for the classes that you are currently taking or that you have just finished taking so this is happening uh right 
around finals time. I think that maybe I had a final or two left and it's not the first time that my classes have gotten dropped but this is the most important time because I had I had to fight tooth and nail to get into these classes that there were a waiting list for that I need to graduate and I'm like if I don't get into these classes I'm gonna have to take another semester and, I, and then on top of that even if I do get into these classes how am I gonna pay for them when I have like an eight thousand dollar balance okay so that was the situation that I was dealing with. And so over winter break, my mother and I, we got an accountant and we figured out a way for me to finally file my FAFSA. Don't ask me why I didn't file it, I'm not stupid. Okay, there was a reason why I could not file my FAFSA, but we ended up finding like some loopholes around it and I was finally able to file my FAFSA. So all over winter break, I've just been waiting in hopes to hear about my financial aid award. That way I could pay off again, the balance that I have for my fall semester and then also pay my spring semester bill. I'm hoping that it will be enough for both my fall and my spring semester. I'm a graduate student, but I am like, out of state and I've tried y'all you have no idea like I don't talk about money on my channel because I don't know what I'm doing like I really cannot advise anybody what to do because I literally just get by and this time it seems like I have not been able to get by like there's just one thing after another one thing on top of the other it's just it's just a lot the reason why I'm making this video now is like I said um I don't know if I will be continuing vlogs I don't know if I will be continuing for this semester so everything is like really up in the air um i don't even get notification on if i do receive any aid until friday and my first day of classes start on monday so i have to go a whole week without knowing um, i'm going to be I'm, I'm walking in faith so i'm going to be going to all of my classes and i'm going to be talking to the professors praying that they show me grace and that they allow me to stay on the roster even though i'm not technically registered and that hopefully they'll wait all the way up until friday which is the last day to register for classes and hopefully everything will just go through i get my financial aid in and um you know my professors again will allow me to it, it, it's a lot it's it's a lot um it's a lot of we hope maybe it's we're luckies so although i'm not registered i will still be attending classes um i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna vlog or not i'm like i'm so upset because you know this is supposed to be such a happy time like i really wanted to be like oh my last semester in grad school first week of classes vlog but like i could do all of that and then you know I, I don't know I don't know um, I'm I'm trying not to let it get to me and break me down I'm sure you guys can tell I'm like very frazzled I'm not going to let this defeat me if I have to take another semester I have to take another semester it will really put me back in a lot of different ways like mentally um, it will it will definitely impact my mental health because so many things just feel like out of my control like there's nothing that I can do like when it comes down to these finances like I don't have eight thousand dollars like I'm thinking to myself like maybe I go into my savings I can pay off and it just not literally nothing is adding up so I just literally have to put my faith in God and ask for him to provide and that is what I have done but um if I do have to take a semester off literally don't ask me what I'm gonna do because I don't know like I'm not even thinking about that I'm thinking about what I can do to stay in school for this semester so that I can finish yeah I guess that's basically it uh, that's the update and like I said I, I wanted to share this with you guys because one I, I think I'm gonna vlog when I go to school for the first day of classes and I notice like when I'm watching my vlogs and I'm not fully there and I've been seeing it in my last couple of vlogs like I'm very spazzy I'm just I'm out of it like I don't know if you guys notice how many cuts I have in my videos because I can't keep like a a direct stream of thought like I'm I'm very I'm very like stressed out I'm very anxious like my anxiety has like flared up to an all-time high I'm crying all the time it's just it's just a lot um, like I said I'm very stressed and it's mainly just due to how uncomfortable the situation is making me I guess I mean the purpose of my channel of course is to bring you guys along with me during my journey but it's so that you guys are inspired and in, during your own journey and to know that you guys can do it too and I know that again I've had a I had a couple 
couple I never really shared them with you guys but I've had a couple of financial scares in undergrad to where it was like I may have to take a semester off and regroup and it happens like I remember it literally happened to my best friend we were in undergrad and she had to take a whole semester off and it happens to more people probably than I realize or that you guys realize and so if anybody out there undergrad grad medical whatever like if you guys feel like you're going through this alone you're not like I'm going through it too I know how stressful it can be but you literally just have to like try and stay positive and um just see yourself in the best situations like don't give up I know that it's very easy in these situations just to be like well there is no way around it like it, I, I just I can't I can't do it I'm gonna take the semester off or I, I might as well just quit like you guys know how bad I wanted to quit coming into this year and so for it to be my last semester and for this extra thing to happen it's very easy for me to be like I knew I should have came back like I could have been doing something else this whole year like I didn't even want to be here of course it's very easy to have that mindset but like that's not going to help anybody like here I am I want to finish now because I'm so close. I know you want to finish wherever you are in your journey, whether it's your first semester or your last semester. Like you started this off, you saw yourself finishing. So don't let something like this tear you down and stop you from accomplishing what you want to do, what you need to do for yourself and for your future self. And especially if it's something that you feel like God promised you, like don't let the devil stop you. So that's me not only speaking to you guys but me speaking to myself and that's really why I wanted to share it because I, again I've never really shared anything financial on my channel before just because like I said I don't necessarily feel qualified to do so but in the situation even though I can't provide you guys with financial advice I can at least provide you with maybe just some source of inspiration if nothing else just knowing that you're not alone because I know like I really really clearly know how detrimental this can be to your mental health to your confidence to your sanity and I know how this can really make you want to turn back and not finish out but hopefully you don't let this stop you um, and you can just use that as a testimony later on like I said many people have experienced financial setbacks in their academic and their educational career so don't let your story be the only one that doesn't end up finished because you were too weak to push through the situation if you do if there really is nothing that you can do about it and you have to take a semester off don't stay off for long um, and again this is also me talking to myself nothing else about this video serves as proof that you're not alone in your situation and again just an update as to what's going on with me um, when the first day of classes do start up I will be vlogging just in case everything does end up working out I don't want to like miss it but if you notice that my mood is off um I've I, like I said I, I don't say I can't help it because I can I'm trying but if you notice that I'm off and I'm spazzy like that is why but I'm I'm trying to stay positive and I'm trying to see um the best outcome I'm trying to manifest the best outcome in the situation so that's basically it that's my update I got nothing else so uh, I guess I'll see you guys in another video I have no idea what this video was <laughs> I don't even know if this is being posted or not I'm not sure I have no idea I just beg you guys like please be gentle with me in these comments okay cuz I just can't <laughs> like please be gentle <laughs> okay give it a thumbs up I don't know <laughs> I don't mean a lot of you guys this video is very hard for me to make so if you could just please be kind to me in the comments. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you want to give some advice, just, you know, maybe do it on my Instagram and not necessarily on the public platform of the comments. If you feel like they could come off in a way that like wouldn't necessarily be helpful or beneficial to me. Like I don't need any comments saying like this is what you should have done in the situation because like here we are, you know. So, um. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in another video in a better mood with better news soon.